Hello. Some of you will know that St Giles Church is joined with the Watoto Church in Uganda. Now Watoto are perhaps most famous for their children's choir and the work they do with orphans, housing over 2,600 in the three villages that they built especially for them. Less well known is the work they do uh, for single women, uh, women who have been abandoned uh, or who have medical issues. And they give them a trade, take them in, educate them in the joy of Christ and have saved thousands upon thousands. And one year we're working with over 400,000 women. So an incredible effort. And what I'm going to show you today is one of those women's stories and she's called Vivian. And her story is quite sad, but with a happy ending because she finds Jesus and she's found a trade she can do and she's got her son into school and she's got education. And she's really very, very pleased with the way the world's going. And we look at that and she'll say, I'm not going back to the way that things used to be. And we forget sometimes that the same Holy Spirit and power is available to us every day. And we don't have to go back to do the things that we've done wrong or the problems that we've had in the past. It's the same Spirit, it's the same Jesus who's waiting for us. So watch this film. I hope you'll be inspired by it and I hope you act upon it. And next week, I'll play you the song that was inspired by I Won't Go Back. But that's for another time. Here we go. Before I was born, my mother was living in a camp for a refugee. The rebel came and captured her because they wanted people to help them fight and from there they make her wife. She gave birth to us when she was in captivity and when I was like one year. She escaped back home with two of us, but the rebel came again and just killed her. She left us with my grandmother and after now, I don't know who is my dad. When I was 15, I met a young man called David. We started living together and we had a child. His name is Lorraine. David was knocked by a car and died. There was no one all alone. A lady just told me about Living Hope. It's a place where vulnerable women are redeemed. They welcome me, counsel me, they love me so much. I was hepatitis B positive and I started thinking that I will die and leave my son as my mother left us. But they helped me to go to the hospital and get the medication for the treatment and I'm now getting better. Until I joined Living Hope in 2013, I didn't go to school. By that time, I don't know anything like English, I couldn't even speak. But when I joined Living Hope, I learned how to speak, like I am speaking right now. I can write, I can read Bible, I can even teach my child. I started doing tailoring when they taught me how to use the sewing machines. I make a lot of mistakes, I even show my hands, but a lot of my friends in Living Hope see what I've made and they say that it's beautiful. I start to save, bought my sewing machine, and I start my business. I can buy food, take my child to school, buy stuff for myself, not depending on anyone. In living hope, the first thing I learned was that I am not a mistake and I still have a father. 
and people who care about me a lot. The young like me, they are my sisters, and the staff, they are my mother. When I read my Bible, I came to realize that God has a good plan for me. Not a plan to harm me, but a plan to give me future and hope. He will never reject me. No matter who I am, he will still be my dad. I feel I'm so close to him. When I think about the future, I hope that my child, Larem, will one day be a doctor, as he said. When I'm sick, he's the one to help me at night. He wake up in the night and tell me, Mommy, what is wrong? What do you want? Do you want water? I just love him. And I wanted the best life for him. When I see myself now, it makes me feel proud of myself and happy. I've changed a lot and I can do something for myself. I see a leader in me. I see a hardworking woman. In life, to be a mother for the nation. No matter what will come, I will not go back to where I've been before. I'm going to a place God has chosen for me. I won't go back to be fatherless. I won't go back to be hated, to be poor again, ashamed of myself. I want to go back to be afraid of who I am. Never.